Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Today's video, we're gonna see just how safe the Bullet Safe Level 3 vest is. So if we look at the setup for the Bullet Safe Alpha Level 3 vest, I built a fixture just to hold the vest in place. Slides down nicely, keeps it centered somewhat. I've got a gallon jug just as a backer, just see if we get any penetration. So once again, this is the Level 3 Bullet Safe UHMWPE. 1.5 kilograms, it's about 3.31 pounds. NIJ Level 3 standalone. Have the high speed camera set up. If you notice, I'm actually taking the perspective of the high speed on the back side of the vest. I want to capture any deformation. So I've got uh, four rifles and one shotgun. First up is the 308 Winchester, the civilian version of the 7.62 by 51. If you know your NIJ National Institute of Justice standards for level three, it should be able to stop a, a military M80 round, which is 7.62 by 51, 147 grain full metal jacket boat tail. This is a lead core bullet. Let's see what happens here. Got the high speed ready. Here we go. I'm going to shoot center mass. Nice. See what happened. Okay, there's my point of impact. That's crazy, check that out. That's a serious bulge now. But about to tell you what, I don't know if I'd wanna get hit by 308 at 15 feet, but I think that would definitely save your life. All right, folks, next up, check this out. First time you all ever see one of these on my channel. I gotta thank my buddy Andy for letting me borrow. This is his. 56S semi-automatic purchased in 1988 just before the George Bush 1989 executive order weapon ban that prevented further imports. Later ones changed assault features like the dangerous muzzle threads and bayonet lugs. Yeah, you don't see these around anymore. So in fact, Andy even had some, uh, obviously the authentic 762 by 39, I think it's 123 grain ball maybe. Anyways, I'm going to shoot a, a little bit lower, still center of mass. Here we go. This, this has definitely got a shorter length of pull. Okay, let's see what happened there. So my point of aim was about right here, point of impact, about two and a half inches low. Survey says, no pass through. Got a major bulge, but I'll tell you what, that would definitely still save your life. 762 by 39. Okay, next up, I've got my AR350 Legend. I'm shooting the homegrown Hornady 170 grain soft points. Uh, I'm getting well over 2,200 feet per second, I'm sure. All right, here we go. I'm going to try to shoot uh, upper or higher on the plate this time. Tell you what, let me extend my arm spec butt plate for stock first. What do you say? All right, here we go. Nice. Okay, 350 legend. That's a big bullet, fellas. Oh, look at that bulge. Serious bulge on that one. Still no pass through. You can start feeling the layers, obviously peeling, peeling back, but nope, you'd still be alive. Okay, up next, I've got my Coyote rig. 556. 
I've got the M193 55 grain full metal jackets, lead cores. Got the pulsar. Let's let's get the thermal turn on. We'll get recording too. What do you say? And we are recording. All right, here we go. I'm I'm gonna try to shoot a little bit right of center. All right, lower and right of center. That's good. That thermal's pretty cool looking, isn't it? All right. So if you guys watched my thermal, my hold was probably about right there. There's my point of impact. And once again, nothing, nothing on the backside. The bullet safe vest stopped the round, which is good. That was a 5.56. M193, 55 grain full metal jacket. I've got my Henry Model X 410 shotgun. I'm shooting my homegrown quadruple, that's four aught buckshot that I cast, 0 0.375 inches diameter. These are pretty big slugs. I got three of them at around 1200 feet per second. Let's see what happens here. I'll tell you what, that pack's a serious punch. Look, this was the quadruple up buckshot. Look at that. Look at that wad. Wad still in there. Oh, look at this. There's a shot right there. <laughs> That's crazy. Look at that. All right, I gotta reposition the camera. Now before I do that, let's look at the back side. Obviously no, no penetration. All right, let's take the uh, vest out of its fixture. That's pretty cool, look at that. Ah, <laughs> oh, gotta love it. I'm gonna have to get my knife to dig that out. I don't know if I can get that, oh, come on. Come on, oh yeah, look at that, folks. That's pretty cool. I don't know how well you can see that. That slug just flattened out. That's pretty crazy. Look at that. Tell you what, that's a pretty good test for sure. Okay, folks, so I'll tell you what, is a bullet safe, level three vest safe? I think it is. You know, I, uh, I threw a lot of lead, so to speak, at this vest. No failures whatsoever. You know, obviously there's some back deformation, but you know, a bruised or cracked rib is a lot better than not making it. Obviously the water jug, is happy it made it to live another day so yeah definitely check these guys out i'm gonna put a link in the video description below i think uh these are actually very well priced you know uh can't beat them for the for the price man this is uh for some of you uh engineering types this is uhmwpe that's ultra high molecular weight polyethylene and I only know that from uh, back in my days as a controls engineer working with my mechanical engineer buddies. They'd always have UHMW as a uh, bearing surface for slides, you know, spe specifically in like machine motion. Uh, any type of fixtures that have to take a high wear, that have high lubricity, self lubricating qualities. And I think that is part of the secret with the PE, the polyethylene, is that as the bullet or slug hits it at high velocity, the material actually liquefies for a few milliseconds, grabs a slug, slows it down, and then stops it. So this Neato with AP 2020 Outdoors, remember, support. That's Second Amendment. We'll see you later, and I thank you.